Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome to Reviews Day Tuesday, the days that I review books that I've recently read and liked and hopefully recommend some books for those of you who like to read. Today's pick is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. This book has been getting a lot of um, press recently. It's been a New York Times bestseller and it's recently become a major motion picture. Um, I haven't seen the movie yet. I decided to read the book first, as is my habit. Um, so let me just talk about the book. So this is a murder mystery, kind of. Um, it's a suspenseful kind of novel. Basically the plot is that there's this married couple who have their own problems um, and on their fifth wedding anniversary the wife Amy goes missing. She's the gone girl. Um, the first half of the novel I found difficult to get through. Uh, it's just kind of figuring out clues and the police investigation and interviewing the husband Nick who keeps getting implicated further and further by the evidence that's coming out and everyone seems to think that he killed Amy but he seems to think that she was kidnapped and it's interspersed with diary entries from Amy the gone girl um, and everything kind of points towards the husband and I couldn't really figure out why the first half of this book was really hard to get through for me until I realized that it's just kind of rich people and their problems and it's not um, something relatable to me. Like the main girl, Amy, her parents are extremely independently wealthy because they wrote children's books about her. Anything that they, that their problems in the marriage seem just to be like really bad first world problems like oh no we have to move to the midwest because one of your parents is sick and we only get to rent this beautiful mansion and i want a tiny brownstone apartment so i can feel quirky what like yeah they have some money problems at some point and there's you know issues with cheating and fighting and misunderstanding and it just doesn't relate to me at all and I found it a little hard to get through because I like to read about the margins of society and not necessarily the rich white upper class people having problems that really don't seem like problems all that much. Um, of course then she goes missing and things start getting interesting but I found the plot twist to be decidedly untwisty. I figured it out really early on and I was just kind of waiting for it to happen. Um, the ending made me angry because I feel like it just didn't resolve any of the problems that happened at all and I don't know I just like I enjoyed the book like as a light read when you're you know taking a flight or you know whatever like it doesn't look like a right light read but it actually is because as much as it's an adult novel and it deals with a lot of adult themes there's lots of sex and violence and, and um, you know, that kind of stuff. But despite that, it seems to be written more like a young adult novel. Like the language used is very um, teen level reading. Like it wasn't particular, particularly literary. It was just kind of um, like run of the mill language, lots of metaphors about pop culture and stuff but then it tried to be literary in some points and it kind of fell flat. I felt like the writing at times got pretentious and they used a lot of, they meaning Gillian Flynn, used a lot of big words that really weren't needed and didn't really fit with the character's vocabulary or personality despite being like first person narrative. There was also a lot of I'm just gonna come out here and say it, misogynistic language and like, okay, the characters are deliberately supposed to be kind of misogynistic and there's given backstory as to why they think this way, but like a lot of it's just really unnecessary and really like hard to get through as a woman reader. Like I found it kind of disgusting at parts. Like. If I never have to hear the phrase fucking bitch again, it will be too soon because that phrase is used over and over and over in this book and it just didn't have punch anymore because it was just like, yeah, psychotic fucking bitch all the time. 
and I don't know I just didn't feel like it was written by a woman actually I felt like it was um, the parts that were written from a male point of view sounded very male to me which at one and on the one hand you know makes it very authentic on the other hand it just made me hate the main character Nick and also I didn't like Amy I find found neither of the, the main characters sympathetic at all I kind of hate them both the book somehow managed to make the marriage of a uh, sociopath and a narcissist completely boring and predictable and like I got a hundred pages in and I figured out how the plot twist was gonna go so it's not exactly like complicated I mean it was highly psychological and there were some parts that were really clever but like it's the kind of book you sit down on the beach to read it's not the kind of book that you're like you know you know what I mean like it's not everyone's saying like it's this huge blockbuster big movie book like it's like one of those books that's like instant classic and everybody loves it and I don't really see that um, as much as it was kind of fun it was also really pretentious and like it tried too hard in a lot of places to be dark and it kind of acknowledged the fact that it was dark so much that it was like comically undark if that makes sense, like it basically chiclet with a psychotic protagonist. Like it's not any kind of thriller. I wasn't thrilled at all. There was no thrilling. There was no anticipatory feelings at all. Like I got through it, but it was like, I could put it down. It wasn't like I was like, oh my God, I need to get through this book. No, I don't care. Like, I don't care what happens to either of the characters. I don't care if their marriage fails. I don't care if Amy's alive or dead. I don't care. Because I just feel like neither of the characters are people that I want to interact with. They're neither characters that I want to read about. They're just kind of sad, pathetic people who clearly have too much time on their hands. And I don't... Maybe I just didn't get it. It was like... It was just too simplistic for me. Like, it was clever in places but then it got really preachy like there's this part where Amy talks about how the image of the cool girl you know the girl who drinks beer and watch football with the guys and doesn't like control their boyfriends that girl doesn't exist according to Amy like she played the part and it was all about how gender is performative and acting and that those people don't really exist and that everyone is basically just parroting movie lines and I found that to be really insulting and I feel like it kind of disregards the fact that, you know, not all women are the same and it kind of just fell really flat for me. And of course the misogyny part of it, there was like a lot of and I felt like it was kind of distracting. Like they kept saying that certain characters smelled vaginal as an insult and like use bitch as a pejorative all over the place and it was just like you're supposed to feel bad for a character who has fantasies about bashing his wife's head in and saying that all women are horrible and I just like I had no sympathy for either of the characters and um I felt like they kind of deserved everything they got so while it's kind of you know it's one of those books that you can talk about with people because like everybody seems to have read it so if you're looking for something to read again on vacation on the plane on the beach or like I don't know between classes if you're not looking for something particularly literary I mean there it is it's not the best book I've never I've ever read but it's not the worst either it's just kind of like a pretty average thriller for me like pretty predictable and I don't know, you don't have to like a protagonist for a story to work, but I feel like she was trying to garner sympathy for characters that I just did not feel sympathetic about whatsoever. So, um, yeah, that's an, that's an opinion, I guess. So, Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. It's a light read. Uh, it's very psychological. But if you're triggered by, like, men being particularly horrible to women, and also women being particularly horrible to women and, like, internalized misogyny, like, it's not the book for you. That's it.